Hey yo, what's up guys? Uh, this is your passive baller again. Uh, we're discussing the second game for this January 20 NBA game day. Uh, before we proceed, I just uh, want to invite those who haven't subscribed to our channel yet. So just simply cl click on the subscribe button below. And also please include the bell logo. Uh, that way you guys will be informed and notified um, as soon as we have a new video uploaded. Alright, so uh, let's start with this one. This is a game between Indiana Pacers and the uh, Dallas Mavericks. Uh, to begin with, let's uh, check their standings. Uh, let's begin with Indiana Pacers. They're the number four team in the East Conference uh, with eight wins and five losses. Uh, for the Dallas Mavericks, uh, they're located in the West Conference and they're actually at number 10 with six wins and seven losses. thing about Dallas Mavericks is that, you know, they've, they've, they've been losing. You know, uh, they've had three losses in a row. Um, Christoph Porzingis is back and uh, that's... Uh, that's good news for uh, uh, for Dallas Mavericks fans. But when uh, Porzingis came back, um, they lost a lot of players uh, due to injuries and some health protocols as well. So, you know, uh, things just uh, <laughs> things ain't just um, falling into you know falling into places for Dallas right now. Because uh, again, Porzingis is back. But um, when Porzingis came back, uh, they're not having uh, Dorian Finney-Smith, Dwight Powell. Josh Richardson and uh, Maxi Kleber uh, due to some uh, uh, health protocols because of this COVID-19 shit, you know. So um, it, it really sucks uh, because you know it, a lot of a lot of fans have been waiting for Chris Tapps Porzingis, but you know when he came back, uh, here here they are. You know they got four players out due to some protocols. So I wish them the best, and uh, hopefully um, these players would be back so that Dallas would be complete. Uh, but aside from that, uh, Timmy Hardaway is also uh, listed as day to day. Although he is actually playing, on uh, you know, on their games, um, we all know that whenever a player is listed day to day, then basically he has injuries and he ain't a hundred percent healthy. So um, he is listed though as probable for this game due to some groin injuries. Uh, so I'm expecting to see him play on this one, and uh, they're actually getting a lot of help from Timmy Hardaway. You know, as his outside shooting has been on again so hopefully they would be able to maintain that so that uh, dallas mavericks would have another option or another weapon aside from you know don kitch and uh poor z all right so what do we have here um this is this is interesting because uh indiana pacers also just uh lost uh, their last game um and looking at indiana pacers uh injury list they're actually having a lot of players out as well. Um, J uh, Samson, Jakar Samson, is questionable for this game against the Mavericks. Uh, Miles Turner is listed as questionable, but I don't think he would be playing. I'm not really sure. Um, injury list-wise, he is listed as questionable, so there's a chance that he would be playing. But uh, considering the fact that um, it was, you know, it was, uh, it was on his hand, on his wrist, I guess. And he was really hurt badly. Um, if I were, you know, I could imagine that the the coaching staff, you know, if I were the head coach, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him rest out for like a few more days. Uh, he he is one of my top guys, so uh, I'm not gonna let him play. And I'm not gonna risk that one game versus the rest of the season. You know. Um, also, uh, Jeremy Lamb is uh, considered questionable for this game. So there are a lot of players who may play, but then again, they ain't a hundred percent well. Um, and then Karis Levert, uh, we all know that uh, he's the uh, you know he's the player that uh, the Indiana Pacers got from that James Harden trade. Um, he would be having uh, some sort of operation, I guess, uh, for his kidney. And um, I, I wish him, I wish the guy the best, you know. And I hope he would be able to return to uh, basketball, you know, the soonest time possible. And as always, uh, T.J. Warren um, has been out, you know, for for weeks now. So. Uh, Indiana Pacers have their own uh, have their own uh, problem in terms of uh, losing people and losing guys. So um, it's like Indiana Pacers versus Dallas Mavericks. We're talking about Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis going up against uh, for me uh, Don Domantas Sabonis and Malcolm Brogdon. That's that's how I look into it. And then of course. Uh, um, depending on how their bench would uh, support them, that's really how it would go for me. Um, 
obviously, if you take a look at the talent, uh, I would say Dallas is Dallas is a better team. You know, uh, out of these two teams, I guess uh, the most talented guy here is uh, Luca, um, and also Porzingis is a talented big man. Um, and if uh, Turner won't be playing in in the end, Pacers, man, um, it will be it will be a huge factor for them defense wise. So. Uh, I'm expecting uh, Demanta Sabonis to play a lot of minutes on this game. Um, it's good that they're coming into a rest, so you know he's not that tired. Um, and if Goga Bitaze, since he's not in the injury list, uh, I guess Goga would be, you know, would be tapped on this, and he would be asked to play some minutes to, to you know, to help Sabonis out in the paint. Um, taking a look at the schedule. Uh, this one would be held at Indiana, so Indiana has the home court advantage, and Indiana is given the minus one, Dallas is given the plus one, so even the experts are kind of confused as to who is going to win. They just gave minus one to Indiana because maybe Indiana has the home court advantage, but really, it's almost a toss coin, you know? In terms of, uh, again, the injuries, they both teams have a lot of players who would be out. Um, it's really tough to pick on this, but I'm going to go with Indiana Pacers on this. Um, Indiana Pacers, I guess, uh, it's tough to beat at uh, it's tough to be beat at home. Um, and Demanta Sabonis is a is a possessed guy. Uh, he's averaging he is averaging double double, and uh, Brogdon is also um, being efficient. Um, and I'm not sure. Uh, it seems to me that uh, Dallas Mavericks is lacking support from their bench. I know Indiana Pacers. Um, they're also uh, losing some 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 players. Uh, due to injuries, but uh, I see them getting some support, getting minutes uh, from their bench players, just enough for them to you know to 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 get those Ws. Right. So I'm again I'm sticking with my decision. I'm going with Indiana minus one. For those who have a Facebook account, please uh, follow and like our page. It has the same name, Passe Baller. But uh, to, for it to be easier, just click on the button on our on our upper right hand of the page. Um, of the YouTube account, it'll bring you automatically to our Facebook account. Just follow and like that page. It should give you access to our announcements, um, vi videos, links. Also, it, you can send us messages through our messenger out there. Okay? Stay up there. I'm going to be uploading the rest of the games for this video. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.